The Russian defense industry has made significant strides in its military production for the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, as reported by the Russian website, Top War. The industry has notably focused on the latest generation of BMP-2M infantry fighting vehicles, which are being rapidly supplied to the Russian army. The 560th Armored Repair Plant, situated in the Amur region, dispatched a batch of BMP-2M vehicles after extensive overhauls. These vehicles have undergone comprehensive refurbishment, with all major components and assemblies either replaced or repaired. Additionally, these fighting vehicles have been fitted with special mounts for extra protection, with protective gear also being provided to the troops. While the specific model of the BMP-2 in question was not disclosed, it is known that the Russian forces have recently been equipped with the BMP-2M model featuring the Berezhok module. The BMP 2M is designed to enhance the capabilities of motor rifle infantry units, offering improved mobility, armament, and protection, particularly in nuclear, biological, and chemical NBC, environments. The BMP 2M has undergone significant modernization, resulting in two variants the SB 4 2, tailored for engaging troops on the battlefield, and the SB 4 3, optimized for anti tank operations. The SB-4-2 variant boasts enhanced firepower with a 30mm AG-17 automatic grenade launcher and is equipped with the Conker's M anti-tank guided missile system for combating heavily armored vehicles. On the other hand, the SB-4-3 variant features advanced targeting and firing systems, including a multi-channel gunner's sight and a new armament stabilizer. This model is also equipped with Attica T supersonic anti-tank guided missiles, capable of engaging armor targets with high precision and speed. Both variants of the BMP-2M have been upgraded with the UTD-23 supercharged engine and enhanced running gear, significantly improving maneuverability and overall performance. These advancements underscore Russia's ongoing commitment to bolstering its military capabilities amid the ongoing conflict in Ukraine.